Uh, my name is uh, Joshua Kikiru, and uh, uh, I come from many company. Uh, this is a company that we started in 2014. And what we did uh, at that time, uh, we thought of uh, the most uh, important things that we can handle is uh, based on uh, fuel consumption uh, reduction and uh, emissions uh, improvement. And so we did the data research and uh, by following the patterns of uh, previous pers persons that have ever done, uh, gone through uh, these works. And we found a series of persons, uh, ideas that can, can work on the vehicles and maybe improve on the consumption. So uh, the first uh, we came about, uh, we, we found was on uh, uh, was on the second one of where uh, because uh, uh, planes used to be added water uh, so that at least they, they, they have a boost. And uh, we found that uh, so many of uh, uh, the companies in the past used to add water into internal combustion engine and they would improve uh, combustion significantly. And uh, we found that uh, there are some who would get up to 50 percent based on their way of uh, systems that they would uh, put on, on the vehicle. But now there are big questions that uh, as to why it's not being adopted uh, today. Uh, we, the answer to that was uh, based on just the business concepts. Uh, there are some uh, people who just not or, or talk so much about the. Uh, the improvement because uh, if we improve by 50% then the cost of uh, the fuel now, uh, the sales goes down by uh, less than 50% uh, in, the, in the world then it can translate to the profits margin going down. So uh, we found that there have been some registrations uh, and the standards that especially Americas have uh, put together and uh, some have been emission standards. And for the emission standards, for instance, there's the EGR, uh, uh, exhaust recirculation. That is the, the vehicle emits the uh, excess of the burned fuel and then it is taken back to the engine. And that one helps in burning uh, the, the fuel, uh, the, the, the waste a little bit further. For the petrol vehicle, they introduced the catalytic con converter. That these are these are some elements that have been put together. That uh, when there's some heat, uh, they just burn and they ensure that the the fuel that is unburned burns completely. And so, if you get the uh, the exhaust, you find that uh, the exhaust is clean, is clean, and the emissions is not that high. But you see, all these have been done on the expense of the consumer. That is, you spend one liter of fuel, 50% of it goes to the catalytic converter, doesn't go to your uh, to your engine, and so you are wasting energy. Uh, you are wasting energy trying to burn some of the energy uh, and clean the environment. So we tried to try and work out on uh, those issues whereby we can now remove those uh, 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 environmental friendly aspects that are not helpful to the human and. Uh, to the consumer and introduce something that can now help the consumer as as well as uh, improving the environment. And so the first the first one that we came up was the the, uh, the hydrogen uh, conversion from water. We split uh, water from uh, because compo compo constituents of hydrogen of water is hydrogen and oxygen. So we would uh, split the the hydrogen and oxygen and put it into the engine. And in some tests that uh, that we did, uh, we would run on water alone. That is, we split first of all, and then we pressurize a tank, and then run an engine, and it would run uh, uh, very efficiently because the exhaust will be water and oxygen. So uh, that was a big, uh, it was a breakthrough uh, of, of some kind. And so we decided now to put it in a way whereby we can now uh, put it in the market because. Uh, we can't uh, say we can put something that is just water and then try to break, uh, uh, put it to the, uh, to the vehicle. Uh, it wouldn't work out. We had to make a system. And so uh, before we did all that, there was um, uh, some analysts that would come from uh, the, the these people who da who does the research uh, in the universities. They would come and uh, verify whatever that we are doing. 
and uh, there are some uh, uh, i used to make patterns i had three patterns of the same uh, nature but the, there's only the last one the the one for the hydrogen hybrid i completed uh, the whole of it and i was, I was done with the pattern uh, and that one i do have it. so uh what we normally started the doing was to we found that hydrogen uh, pl uh plus uh, if it is combined as a compound it became much uh we didn't have required uh, storage whereby a tank uh, that is uh, you would put a tank on a vehicle and then uh, we could be compressurizing uh, the tank uh, later to be used for uh, for combustion uh, we were still trying to mitigate the issues to do with the uh, the safety the, the, the safety standards and uh, we found that if we put uh, the hydrogen in a compound uh, for instance, the ammonia. If we make ammonia and then uh, store it in water, that becomes ammonium hydroxide. And then we burn it. Uh, the water, uh, the water will become fuel uh, plus the ammonia. Ammonia contains three hydrogens uh, combined in uh, one hydrogen. And the good thing about uh, ammonia is that we can always make it uh, through solar. Uh, we can uh, use the, those aspects that are renewable. So uh, that's the one that has become so successful, and uh, we found that uh, a diesel engine will give uh, will save from 30 to 50 percent, depending on the load that you put. And uh, for a petrol vehicle, you find that it gets it ranges from 50 50 percent. That is, if the vehicle is going 14 kilometers per liter, you find that it can get a, a size to as to as 20 to 30 kilometers per liter. Those are, that was a, a, a big milestone. And we found that we are not the only ones who've done similar concepts. There are so many others who've been uh, in the past that have tried and they've worked. Others, uh, they've been bought. For instance, there's one, uh, there's one person uh, whose patent was bought by Shell. Uh, they, they bought it, and uh, that one, I think they would pay, they would make up to 47 uh, kilometers one liter. And I don't know why they didn't uh, they didn't commercialize uh, or after they bought it. Probably it's because of the interest, of, as I've said, uh, I've said that. So advantages uh, of the hydrogen is that you find uh, you find that the cost uh, the cost of fuel becomes low. Uh, you also you also find that the the power in the engine, since you are adding some more fuel, becomes almost as twice. It, it feels as though it has got that boost uh, because if you uh, if you run the vehicle without the hydrogen the normal way it runs and then you put the the, the hydrogen immediately you find you feel like like there's a boost uh, the bad thing uh, about the hydrogen is that you find it cleans the engine and uh, once the engine gets cleared, uh, cleaned uh, in the process of cleaning the engine because the end product is water steam so as uh, the water expands, uh, one liter, it's said that one drop of uh, water uh, expands a thousand times. Uh, because, you know, there's those kind of conversion from uh, liquid to gas, and then uh, there's a the superheated the steam, uh, which gets to uh, even larger volumes. So at that process, you find that uh, the engine doesn't overheat, uh, and there's the long longevity of the engine and the service time. So uh, at the tail pipe now, or the fourth one, is that you find that emissions are reduced. In some cases, you find that you reduce emissions up to 95%. It's better than, it's much higher than uh, the catalytic take on water because there will be no carbon monoxide. There will be just carbon dioxide. There's no uh, nitrogen oxides. Those are the harmful emissions. Uh, the nitrogen oxides, uh, they, they are usually NO2, NO3. Uh, and the higher they go, the more complex. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly. So you find that uh, it doesn't create those uh, uh, those emissions that are uh, that can be harmful to the environment, and uh, that can be a good cause for uh, towards the global warming uh, mitigations. So uh, the other aspect about uh, the the, the unit, the hydrogen hybrid, is that it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not installed inside the engine. 
so it's an annual basis. Uh, advantages of that is that uh, it maintains the insurance uh, of the vehicle as it is uh, because you don't you don't change the the way the engine operates, and also uh, it has a longer service life uh, because it will work as long as the uh, the vehicle is working. It doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, deplete with time. So let's say you install. Uh, a lorry uh, today and uh, uh, for instance it serves you for like 15 years you don't have to say to change the unit uh, along the way it is the same so uh, there was some uh, test that we were trying uh, and that one was also done in, in internationally I, they found that a three three yeah, that ten uh, lorry will consume uh, in average today uh, around seven kilometers a liter or six or five but you find that uh, with the way they've tried to mitigate the issues to do with the, uh, the, the efficiency and fuel consumption, they introduce smaller vehicles. <coughs> and you find that a small vehicle, a, a vehicle that doesn't exceed 800 kg, uh, now it goes at uh, 14, 16, 17 kilometers per liter. That doesn't matter because in, 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 uh, in science, you always scale up and scale down and you get proportional results. Uh, for this one that was giving you six kilometers per liter uh, towing 30 tons, uh, if you scale down to 800, you, you, almost, uh, you are supposed to get around 60 kilometers per liter. But uh, 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 with the research, the reason why uh, there will be uh, the customer. Uh, is always con convinced despite that there is that uh, that uh, customers change from using going for uh, the, the efficiency to comfort. So you find that despite the vehicle is a gas layer, you, uh, somebody is very comfortable. Uh, but uh, there was the, this aspect whereby they would say that uh, a V8, for instance, uh, a 4,500cc vehicle is supposed to uh, take you almost to 30 kilometers by one liter. We are maintaining the, 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 the efficiency, maintaining the speed and torque, 30 uh, kilometers a liter. So our system uh, is not over, uh, it's, it's not exaggerating on the outputs that we are giving because, yeah. So now, uh -huh. you're going to use hydrogen yeah. and oxygen yeah. and make it into water uh -huh. and make it into water. Yeah. Is, is that the concept? The, the, the concept is that hydrogen, since it's fuel, it burns together with the fuel that is uh, introduced. How are you going to burn hydrogen? Uh, it, it will burn inside the, the, during the process of uh, combustion. What is, the, what is the combustion process? Uh, well, the, the combustion process uh, will always start once the fuel is uh, drawn into the engine. What, 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 what I want to understand is the chemistry behind this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen is going to be used as fuel now. Yeah. Hydrogen is going to be used as fuel. Mm -hmm. And if you are going to burn hydrogen, mm -hmm. it's a noble gas. Yeah. If you are going to burn hydrogen, mm -hmm. what is the End product. Uh, no. mm -hmm. End product is what oh, that's, yeah, that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's a different issue. That's I'm not bothered about the end product. Yeah. I'm yeah. bothered about how we are going to burn mm -hmm. hydrogen. Oh. I'm, I'm talking purely chemistry. I'm, mm -hmm. not, uh, I'm not going into your engine part of it. Yeah, true, 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 true. Okay. Uh, the hydrogen uh, uh, will burn uh, together with the fuel. Uh, the fuel, uh, to, uh, for the. You need to say mm -hmm. that you are going to. Uh, make fuel, mm -hmm. when use fuel as well as in the petrol or diesel or whatever it is, yeah. along with hydrogen, yeah, yeah, yeah. along with hydrogen, so that the consumption of that particular fuel yeah. becomes much less. Much less, yeah. So, so that, that is the thing which I want to do right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So